Renaissance fam, Renaissance cam here back in effect. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, if y'all new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be alerted when these videos drop. I hope everybody's doing well. Me personally, I'm doing just fine, all right? As you can see, we back in the kitchen and uh, we got something a little bit different today, all right? I got on my overalls, so a lot of people know when, I'm, when I have my overalls on, I'm working, all right? So we just left the garden outside. We had some uh, broccoli sprouting up. We had some lettuce sprouting up. A um, few things I didn't get on camera, but today's video is gonna be based on farming, all right? It's gonna be like a farming series that we're gonna do on this channel. Um, basically just cooking what you grow, all right? So I got, in my garden, I'm gonna just go through some of the things I got right now. I got um, broccoli, cauliflower, um, kale, lettuce. We got some parsley, spinach, cilantro, sage, rosemary, thyme. I think that's about it. Um, I had a lot of peppers going crazy over the late fall, I believe. The late fall? Yeah, late fall I had some peppers growing and I forgot to cover them up one night and the temperatures got below 20s and it was you know it was history for those so today we're gonna be focused on strictly the broccoli all right we're gonna have some other herbs that we're gonna add into this recipe that we're doing but we're really focused on the broccoli right now I had some beautiful broccoli heads uh, sprout up you know in these past few weeks and uh, we're gonna put them boys to work all right today we're gonna be making a chicken and broccoli type of casserole it's gonna have some rice in it um, you know some of the herbs from our garden broccoli cheese all that good stuff and um, it's really simple, you know, it's not gonna take you much time at all. Very family friendly. You can feed a large family with this dish and it's very filling, all right? Um, not many ingredients, all right? Not many ingredients at all. You're not gonna need a whole lot for this dish. It's super simple. You're not gonna dirty up the kitchen with this dish. Um, it's basically like almost a one pan type of deal, right? Well, okay, it's gonna be like three pans. You're gonna need the rice cooker. If you, if you choose to use a rice cooker, you can just cook the rice on the stove. Um, you're gonna need a, you know, a, a stock pot to kind of get all your ingredients mixed in, and then you're gonna need your baking dish. All right, that's all you're gonna need. All right, it's not gonna take a lot of equipment, a lot of tools, a lot of pots, a lot of pans, none of that stuff. All right, it's gonna be real simple. Let's get started. All right, guys. So first things first, we're gonna kick this thing off with some fresh ingredients. All right, don't worry about the ingredients. I'm gonna leave all of them in the description. So you won't have to keep track of those, okay? First things first, we're going to bust down our broccoli head, all right? As you can see, this is a beautiful head of broccoli we got from our garden. I'm so proud. <laughs> but um, no, we're just going to cut the heads off of the stalk and um, just cut it in small pieces, all right? We're going to throw these in a basket that actually came with my rice cooker, all right? This is where the rice cooker really helped me a lot because it allowed the broccoli to steam while my rice was cooking all right so if you you know are a little bit on the fence as far as getting a rice cooker whenever you do get a rice cooker make sure it has that basket okay because you'll save a lot of time and a lot of you know energy on meals when it comes to being able to steam your vegetables and rice cook your rice at the same time it's just a big you know time saver all right but if you don't have a rice cooker, you can always, you know, just add a little bit of water and butter to a, you know, a small saucepan, you know, steam your broccoli that way. But um, as you can see right here, we got some um, parboiled white rice. Okay, we're just going to throw a little bit of that in there, about a cup and a half, two cups, depending on packaging instructions, of course. And then we're going to add in some chicken broth. Okay, we're going to boil our rice in the chicken broth to add flavor. You know, water's boring, all right? Add some chicken broth in there. It's going to make things taste a whole lot better, so much more flavor, all right? So we're going to cover that rice with that broth and give it a little stir so nothing sticks. And then we're going to throw a, about two tablespoons of butter in there. Just kind of let that, allow that to melt into the, you know, the broth and the rice. It's going to be real flavorful, all right? So this is when this basket comes in handy, right? You just sit that basket right inside the rice cooker close the lid and let the rice cooker do the work turn it on and this should take more no more than maybe 10 15 minutes for the rice and the broccoli to get done all right 
So now we're going to tend to our chicken thighs, all right? We're just going to season them real simple, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and whatever your favorite, you know, all-purpose, um, low-sodium seasoning is, all right? I'm using the Dano's um, Original, really good seasoning. Uh, but if you don't have that, you can use Mrs. Dash or whatever you can find, all right? But try to keep it low-sodium. So now we're going to take some olive oil and we're going to spread some of that on top of this chicken, all right? This is going to help us move around that seasoning, make sure it gets fully incorporated. And we're just going to mix it around with our hands, make sure we don't miss any cracks, crevices, and that this chicken has a nice, even, you know, coating of seasoning on it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to crank up the heat on our stove and we're going to get us a nice size stock pot gonna coat that bad boy with some olive oil and we're gonna get the steering off these chicken thighs all right we want to make sure they get full contact to the bottom of that pan press it down you know what i'm saying get as much weight on it as you can and we're gonna let these bad boys cook for about three to four minutes on each side until they get a nice golden brown crust on them all right we want to make sure we lock all that flavor in and these are going to be perfect to go inside of our casserole So once we get some nice color on our chicken thighs, we're gonna take them and we're gonna remove them from the pan, all right? Next, we're gonna go in with our fresh ingredients. So we have one yellow onion right now. You can use a white onion, whatever type of onion you have. And we're just gonna give that a nice, fine dice. You don't, you don't have to be perfect, but you wanna get them as small as possible so they kinda of disguise themselves in the casserole, right? Uh, we're going to take some garlic, smash that down, give it a nice peel and a rough chop, and that's going to be ready to go. Now, next we're going to go in with some more ingredients from our garden, all right? We got this flat leaf parsley and we got some curly parsley mixed in there. I don't know why I use two different parsley. It's, it's really only for garnishing purposes. So y'all don't need this, but I felt like this was just a flex because I got it from my garden and I'm proud of it. So please excuse me. Um, but yeah, next we're just gonna take that chicken. We let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes to kind of let the juices back absorb back into it. And now we're just gonna give it a nice rough chop it doesn't have to be perfect like i said but you do want it all in somewhat uniform shapes so it's not like you get a big piece of chicken here and a small piece over here all right so to that same pan we're gonna add in about two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna start mixing that around okay next we're gonna go in with some flour just a little bit all right we're gonna have just somewhat of a light roux we're not going to darken this like a, which you would do like a gumbo or something. It's just going to be really light. Um, it's going to make a nice thick consistency for our mixture that we're going to have for our casserole. All right. So next we're going to dump in those onions. We're going to dump in that garlic. And we're going to get that incorporated into that roux as well. As you can see, it's starting to caramelize really nicely. Okay. And that's exactly what we want. So next we're gonna add in some chicken broth, all right? You can use chicken stock, chicken broth. You can use, I wouldn't recommend using water because we wanna keep that flavor consistent in here, okay? So get you some chicken broth, chicken stock, whatever you can find. And then we're gonna add in some heavy cream, all right? This is gonna make this dish super creamy, super savory, all right? It's almost gonna be like a mac and cheese, but even better all right this dish i'm gonna say it right now this dish is better than your you know standard even like mid-grade mac and cheese all right so now it's time to start building our mixture all right so our rice is done our broccoli is done we're gonna start dumping all this stuff in here now all right so it looks a little bit loose once you throw the rice in but once you throw the broccoli in the chicken in it all starts to tighten up okay so i broke up that broccoli so you know we get it well distributed throughout the entire mixture all right so as you can see broccoli's in chicken's going in right now and we got it looking really really good okay this is pretty much the final lap this is when it really matters now i did forget i definitely added more seasoning to this it was just more of the garlic powder onion powder um dano's original 
um, you know, all-purpose seasoning, and, you know, salt and pepper. That was all I added. So I didn't get that on film, but I did do that. So we're going to dump this into a baking dish. We're going to add some cheese. I'm using Kobe Jack and sharp cheddar, okay? And we're just going to throw this bad boy in the oven. Now we're only going to broil this because, you know, all the other ingredients are pretty much cooked. So we don't have to cook anything. So we're going to throw this in the broiler for about 10 minutes, maybe 5 to 10 minutes, just to get a nice golden brown crust on it. You know what I'm saying? Get that cheese nice and crispy. And then we're going to take it out the oven. We're going to garnish it with some of our parsley from the garden. And we're just going to sit back and admire it, all right? It's looking beautiful. And I'm starving, all right? Let's eat. All right, guys, y'all know the drill. We put in the hard work, food is done, time to taste it. Let's get to it. Mmm. Look here, guys, I want y'all to listen to this. That cheese crust is perfect. As far as the flavor goes, guys, I say this all the time and it's so cliche, but this right here, it's really over the top, all right? It's one of the top dishes I've ever made. I say this every time, but we're gonna have to start scooting some of them old dishes that I said was the best thing I ever made to this being one of my top, my favorites, right? Mm. It honestly gets no better than this, all right? We got the broccoli from the backyard, all right? Everything else, fresh ingredients. Dude, dude, there's so much flavor in this. It's creamy. It's, it's, it's savory, it's, it's perfectly seasoned, right? You don't have to do too much, all right? The chicken stands out. It's, I used chicken thighs because the, the texture is just so much better when you reheat it, you know what I'm saying? The more you reheat chicken breast, the, the, the drier, the tougher it gets, all right? You wanna make sure that when you reheat this, cause this is a dish that's, you know, gonna be leftovers for a couple nights, all right? It's, it's really that good. The chicken thighs hold their texture a whole lot better than chicken breast, all right? And there's honestly just so much more flavor in a chicken thigh than a chicken breast, all right? The fat, everybody knows fat is flavor, so you kind of want to lean towards a protein with a little bit more fat to it, right? But you can do this with chicken breast, all right? You can do this with chicken breast, it's fine. But you got to think, you're adding fat by adding the cheeses, the heavy cream. So you might as well go all out, you know what I'm saying? Just just go the extra mile, do it all. You know what I'm saying? It's not the healthiest dish, but it gets the job done, all right? It's, it's nutritious, it's got broccoli in it, it's got chicken in it, it's got cheese in it, it's got rice in it, you know what I'm saying? Your whole, all your food groups are there, but it's a little bit heavy on the fat side. So just be careful, full of fat, full of carbs, but you know what I'm saying? In moderation. Eat it in moderation, you'll be just fine. Mm. But anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all for watching once again. Make sure if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and most of all, hit that notification bell, all right? That's gonna alert you every time I drop a video, all right? Kinda took a, you know, a little bit of a hiatus, you know, for about a week, but I'm back, all right? I got some more content coming. I did a seven day juice challenge. Um, it was a cleanse challenge, whatever, but, um, I want to take y'all on that journey with me as well. Um, it wasn't, it was very difficult. All right. I'm going to get into all the details once it, you know, once I finish the video, but, um, yeah, it was a, a, a big challenge, but I lost a lot of weight. You know what I'm saying? My body started feeling, you know, really good and, um, skin cleared up, all that stuff. All right, so I want to take y'all on that journey with me. So I definitely have that content coming y'all's way. All right, so that's just something to look forward to. So just make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell. You'll be notified as soon as I drop that video, I promise. So with that being said, once again, I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time, and I'm out.